Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. Today is Sunday, June 25th, 2023. I cannot even believe that we're almost into July. I know that we have been going through a lot, personally and worldly. I hope that all is well with you watching this today. I welcome everybody that's new for the first time listening to this. And all of you that keep coming back, thank you for showing up today. So we are working today with Divine Mother Energy. I have the um, goddesses out here and I have feminine energy out here. But then I decided, let's just go with the head honcho. The head mother, Divine Mother Energy. And I'm pulling three cards and let's see what's going on for all of us that are listening to this today. And it doesn't matter when you're listening to this, the message is going to be for you. So we have the three cards out. So decide one, two, or three, and we are going to begin with card number one. Card number one is the card of joy. And so this card is coming up and it is asking you to be joyful in all of your moments. And so the first question that is actually coming through is, are you present in each and everything that you do? So many times we have so many things that we have to do. We're always running, 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 and we're not even present when we are in the midst of doing something. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves, how did I get from point A to point B? I don't even remember driving there. Does this resonate with you? Because if it does, this is your cue that it's time for you to be more present in the things that you are doing because you're not fully grounded. You are not fully centered. And obviously it happens because sometimes we have too many responsibilities on our plate. But what that is telling you, if that is you, is that it's time to lighten your load. You have too many things going on. And it's time for you to reevaluate and see what it is that you need to move away from or let go of. You must be having challenges. That's the next card that comes along with this card. So you're being asked to face your challenges now. Now, when we're going through challenges, it's kind of hard to get in a state of joy. Because a lot of times we're dwelling on the things that are going wrong. But if you look at this card here, I want to talk to you about two things. And the first thing is the 15. That is reducing down to the number six in numerology. And because it has a one and a five, what it's saying to you is there are going to be changes that are coming your way, but you are being given an opportunity through these challenges to stand on your own two feet, to become independent, not codependent, but independent, learning how to deal with this on your own. And you have to walk through this path. It's part of a life lesson. And it's very challenging for you, but you have to face it head on and move forward so that you can get to the other side. Because on the other side is going to be the stronger version of you. Strength comes in facing the challenge, but also in allowing yourself to feel your feelings, which is where the moon comes in. So when we're going through a challenge, it's not easy. And a lot of times we want to distract ourselves and not be present because we can't handle what we're going through. If that's you, pause. It's time for you to step back and it's time for you to begin to go in your heart, go inward. It's time for you to feel exactly what is coming up for you in this challenge. Any feeling, do not bury it. Allow it to come up. Do not distract yourself with something else so that you don't have to feel it. Find joy in feeling all of your feelings. Be present. Keep going. Keep walking on that bridge because you're going to get to the other side. 
stronger than you ever knew you were in the vulnerability that you allowed to come through by feeling your feelings. We all have to go through challenging things. You are safe to go through this right now. And if you chose card number one, you're going to be fine. All is well. Just get through what you need to get through. That's our message. Alrighty, card number two, devotion. And this card is asking you to fully commit to your values, your relationships, and your creator. And be clear on what you're going to do next. When we devote ourselves to what is truly, authentically inside of us, you have to do number one, if you didn't listen to card number one, go back and listen to it. You have to do what the steps are in card number one to get to this point. Be devoted to your beliefs, to your values, be devoted to yourself, and possibly be devoted to a relationship in your life that is needing you at this time. Could be your child. Be devoted right now. Tune in once again. Allow rising up what it is that you believe in. Shut out all the chatter outside of you, whether it's outside of you and your family, outside of you and your friend circle or in your community or outside of you in the world. So many people are unaware of what they really feel, what they really believe, what their values are because they are so caught up in what they hear on the outside. They're unable to even know what is theirs and what is not. This is your invitation to devote your time to tuning in. When you tune in to your higher self, you are tuning in to the consciousness of the creator. I want you to imagine that the creator is a ball of energy. And each time one of us decides to be born on this earth, we're a piece of that ball separating from the whole, but we're all still connected to the whole. So you're still exactly part of this whole, but you're separating out into an individual energy, an individual conscious being. Your soul, your higher self, your spirit is still one with the creator of the consciousness and also of everybody else that is part of this consciousness. We are all one. When you hear that, that visual is what it means in a sense. Are you devoted? And when each of these pieces of us comes out of the whole, we are given the opportunity to be on this earth as a conscious being, learning things, living this life, learning things. But you hear that? <laughs> that is God's way of saying, pay attention. This is true. Every time I always have my phone off the hook. If you've watched me before, you know. Every time I say something that is adamantly what the creator wants you to know, that happens, whether it's a session or on these videos. Let me go shut that one second. Okay. I think I got that point across, right? That was, oh, now we got cards flying out. <laughs> Kindness. The other part of this message for people in number two, but honestly, I feel like everybody needs to listen to the whole message today. Because we are all one part of this consciousness, what we don't seem to realize is we are not devoting ourselves to being kind. When you are not kind to somebody else, you are not kind to you. Whoa. 
When you are not kind to your child, to your spouse, to your parent, you are not being kind to you. Obviously, we are seeing so much anger out there in the world. But today, I'm asking you to begin to look into your beliefs and values and devote your time to learning more about you and how you treat others because essentially that is how you treat yourself. And that is the message for card number two. I have to say one more thing because I say it. See here, the number 34 is the number seven, three plus four is seven, and we are living in a year of numerology, personal number seven year, I mean, universal number seven year. The universe is in the process of growing and evolving and ascending. And this point that came through is part of the evolution of human consciousness. And card number three is mother energy. Gaia, the mother of all of us, is coming through now. She has so much patience and love for each and every one of us, even when we're not being kind to our neighbor, our friend, our love, ourselves. She has the patience for us. She's doing her best to nurture us and has been. But it is time for us to be kind and have patience and nurture ourselves because that is us nurturing her as well. All that is going on on this earth right now is because we came in as humans and we do have a lot of times issues and things we need to go through things we need to experience it's part of being human the ego kicks in but the mother energy is asking you to open up your heart to her divinity the word devotion and the word divinity are one in the same Let's just pull one more card. This is a very powerful message for all of us. And the sad reality is not enough people see these videos because of social media. But if you know someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. Honor life cycles and let go are the two cards that come through with the mother energy. And again, we have the moon. The first card and now this third card has the moon. And the moon is all about truly tuning into yourself, learning about yourself. What are your beliefs? What are your values? What are your feelings? What are your emotions? Where are you emotionally withdrawing? Let's go back to that first message which was the distractions that are coming in. So you're not able to find your joy, even in the challenges. You're not able to walk the path to the other side because it's so difficult because you have the challenges. It's okay to take a pause and take a step, but don't withdraw from what you're feeling because essentially that is not serving you or anyone around you, which is going back to the collective consciousness. We all are being asked to tune in and learn about ourselves and devote ourselves to ourselves and nurture ourselves because essentially all of us are going to help the whole of all of us, the whole collective consciousness the consciousness of the creator. We are each a piece of the consciousness. If I am doing the work and you're not, we are going to have a problem in the collective. 
I can only control me, you can only control you, but essentially we all need to do our part. And are you? Are you distracting yourself from your job? And the job is to begin to do this work, to go within, to tune in. I am, I'm actually tired of people thinking that they need to go to work and that's doing work. How about the inner work that is going to help the whole collective? We are a mess right now. We are in a seven year. We have a lot of growth that we need to be doing. Are you doing your part? Three years ago, when we went through the beginning of the pandemic, I said several times in my messages, are you going to be part of the solution or are you going to be part of the problem? That still stands true today to what we are experiencing on this earth. So this message, even though we had three cards and if you picked one number over the other, that is definitely something for you to hone in on. But essentially, this entire message is for everyone. It's time for everyone to tune in and start devoting yourself to your spiritual growth. I hope that something in this message or all of it helped you. And I wish you guys a great day. Bye-bye.